Uh, Shri Moshi just touched upon the inner chamber. Uh, and then we also have 12 petals on 12 qualities of mother. Uh, how would you describe the difference between a space, a place for concentration in the petals versus inner chamber? Very spiritual question. <laughs> so I'm afraid I'm not up to the level where I can say, well, it means this and that means that. But when you go to the inner chamber, you feel this space. Uh, you know, everyone experiences the inner chamber in their own way. It's their relation to the mother. And it's difficult to describe it, but you feel this presence there of this force. And then, of course, depending on the individual, I have a lot of, let's say, one-way conversation over there and uh, questions and things like that. And because I don't, don't manage to concentrate for very long. And in the petals, they have been given a name, a color, and they have a very specific atmosphere. For example, at one time, Matri Mandir had to be closed for some renovation for about three months. So they opened at that time the first petals, the first two petals, which were peace and equality. And I remember we were all called, the peace petal is ready, let's all go and we do all together. And we all trooped in about 20 of us. This must have been 15 years ago or something. And we all sat in the peace petal and it was just amazing. And I'm not someone given to feeling things and, you know, seeing things, subtle world, this, that, no. But it was a very palpable experience in the body. And it was very, it was like, must have been peace. I imagine it was peace. It just felt so good. It just felt so good to be there and you felt it in the body. And that was the closest, I think, I, you know, you go there and you sit, you have nothing else on your mind and you just suddenly start to feel this. And this I felt in the peace petal when it was first opened. And we were 20 of us sitting in that small space, all the, uh, you know, all, all my colleagues and me. So this is the difference, whereas in the inner chamber it is like, you feel the presence of the universal mother or at least her feet are there, you know, big enough, to, <laughs> not even. So this is, but I would like to answer a question you asked her. What is the difference between um, serving the mother at Machi Mandir or outside? Well, in principle, there should be no difference. But at the Machi Mandir, you have the added joy of seeing a physical beauty being manifested through the gardens and in the lake in the future and she describes it and you well I have faith in her vision I I see that it's going to be something very beautiful so you are very I feel very excited very enthusiastic let's do it it will be something very beautiful I have no doubt and I feel the same way about the city she was not somebody who would have the vision of something ordinary no you see, you see it in the Matri Mandir. The Matri Mandir took 36 years to build because of all our doubts. We doubted, oh, but this may not be so good. You know, there were discussions and discussions, but finally it, it happened. And we see the result. And it is very beautiful. So, so the added pleasure or joy is the beauty. So, we should start adding beauty into the city and that beauty will come when we build the city and we put the gardens and the trees and the parks and the beautiful buildings and a city but with a difference and this difference is her vision you see so that's what i have to say thank you